on. Matt, open this door. Need to hang on. Matt. Oh my God. Matt. What did you do that for? That's, a, that's an easy fix. I got. I have a, a screwdriver in the car. I thought about doing stand-up comedy. You tell jokes? It's pretty scary to come up here. I have a friend who's been wanting to try stand-up, but he's a little chicken. <laughs> Dave is my best friend. Go, Dave! I'm so scared right now. <laughs> Most of the time, I felt like they were married, mm -hmm. and I was just a bystander. Hey, buddy, it's Matt. Wanted to see how you were doing. Hi, Brulu. Hi, Farface. <laughs> Mom! Hi, girls. <laughs> Hi, Fruit Lou. Hey. How you feeling? Tired. Thanks for being here. I won't miss it. Can we talk for a minute, Matt? It's going to get very hard. You're going to see things from the cold never seen before. You don't need to do this alone. I can come and help you get to the other side of this. We'd love to have you. How long do you think you'll be out there? I'm hoping just a couple weeks. I just want to make sure Matt gets back on his feet. I usually make breakfast and dinner. Maybe you can take some of that weight off. Speaking of, I was hoping you call me Grandma Dane. Sure. Molly, excuse Excuse me. Sure, I'll call you Grandma Dane. Thank you. I want to make a list. I'd like to write letters to the girls for certain milestones in their lives. I want to have blue hair. Molly, will you tell me when it's happening? It's not happening. No. For her entire life, she's wanted to be the Grand Marshal of Mardi Gras. And I want to sing on stage with Katy Perry. That all seems pretty doable. Does it? gone for three months now. I thought that you were going to be gone for a couple weeks. What changed? I got here and I saw that one person can't do this job. I'm still a valid gotta, person, yeah, you are, but you gotta you take Don't get out of I don't think you're this upset because I'm late. What's happening to mom? I think you're mad because mom is sick. Why are you so hard on your dad? <laughs> Molly, you've broken my body. I saw you smile. You know, you don't have to stick around. Nicole's my best friend, too. I'm happy to be here. I have to ask you something. I'm not sure how. This is scary. Yeah. So how long would you say you've been experiencing symptoms? Like a month. I can remember some things, but other things are just gone, like uh, details. I can't do details. They call it NIA, neuroinflammatory affliction. And it can affect anyone. Like the man picked up by a fishing boat. It turned out he was another fisherman, couldn't remember how to steer his boat, so he decided to swim home. And then a pilot forgot how to fly. Listen carefully. If you are experiencing NIA symptoms, I need you over here. The government have the true cure. They've been keeping NIA on the street. It's no wonder people went crazy. This is not a proven cure. We urge everyone to remain calm. So the treatment, is it like a, a pill or? We'll be doing an oral cranial puncture. Sorry, what? The brain is separated into four major lobes. Think of it as clearing a clogged pathway beneath the lateral vision. Who am I? How old am I? What's my favorite color? You're my wife, Emma Vita Ryerson Williams. You're 28. Your favorite color is yellow. Oh, remember meeting me. I remember a water park. What time of year was it? Summer. No. Winter. We had just bought a fish. When he first started to lose his memory, she would kept it a secret. Just like everyone did back then. All these little pieces. I find myself wondering how to build a future if you keep having to rebuild the past. They say you can't forget feelings. And I still believe that. What is it? It's a fish? Yeah, I got it with you. Why do you tattoo fish? True. Yeah. Are you okay?
Our very own Bryce Dixon is coming home from Hollywood with a movie star. Hello? Uh, hey, Madison. I got you a uh, role, another, another role. <sighs> what kind of role is this? Well, it is uh, actually more like a reunion. Strictly work-related. Trust me. You know what? Fine. I need to get out of town anyway. I went ahead and confirmed all of your reservations for the reunion. I went with the best available option. Really? This is the best available. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. Oh, Ross Dixon! Small town and you two are the talk of it. Hey, hey! <laughs> Welcome home, Dixon! Oh. Yes, I'm happy. I'm truly happy. Madison! Zane? I chartered a jet this morning just to see you. I'm gonna woo you back. Great. But if these people here are your friends, why don't you just tell them the truth that we're not dating? Your heart knows things that your mind can't explain. I made a mistake. This is why agents don't date their clients. Do I get any say in this? I know we're just pretending, but being here with you, I like it. TMZ spotted Madison. Hang on to you. What? <laughs> Medic! We shouldn't. We rules are meant to be broken. Uh, welcome to the big chill. Seven dollars and twenty-three cents. Don't. If you tip me, I have to sing. Really? We got a tip, people. Okay, I'm going on a break. Wait, wait, wait. It seems like I made you mad. That's not what I want to do. Cause baby, me and you could go together like a double scoop. Fine. You want me home after work. Perfect. It's a date. It's not a date. What sure sounds like a date. So, Saturday, here, I'll pick you up at 7. It's a date. OK, fine. But just once. And it's not a date. Does this girl have a name? Isabel. One more? One more. Me and my dad, we try to formulate a plan. Honor Society, Student Council, track. Blah, blah, blah. Is that what you really want, though? Come with me. Whoa. That's called my booth of proof. Let me see what you got. No, I don't rap. Dude, you're wasting time. See you later on. I'm sorry, man. Look, just because I know what I want doesn't mean I always get it. But at least I'm honest with myself. What do you want? I want to take you out again. People do things when they're dating. We're not dating, Darren. You're gonna have to leave. Do you even like me? It's not that simple. Everywhere I look, I see you. I'm just chasing after something. Stop! Just Go. stop! Just stop! I have a year to live, if that. Life goes on, it moves like a merry go hop I know it's not always easy, but nothing ever is. That's why we make plans. Girl, let's run away. I have a plan, Izzy. We're gonna live our full life, all the milestones, all in this year. Me and you. Go away, Darren. I don't believe in happy endings. Believe in me. One condition. Anything. You have to stop saying I love you. If you want folks to feel your music, you gotta feel it first. So what you got for me? Something, but it's rough. That's more than what most people got. The only way to learn about life is by living. And I've learned that every moment is your moment. If you can manage to look past your own fears and everyone else's expectations, the reward is your life. Great art comes from suffering. That's true. We all lead relatively safe lives. We're fighting wars overseas, but you'd never know it from walking around Brooklyn. We got an old friend at Bank of America. He said he'd take a look at your art for a new building they're opening up. They don't want my paintings. They want pictures of puppy dogs. You know, real life is bullshit. You spend all this time in art school, and then people think that you just paint for a hobby. Just had a meeting with a gallery owner. Oh. Yeah, he told me I wasn't dark enough. Fucking! It's not my fault I haven't suffered. You're always suffering. You don't actually have to lead a miserable life to be an artist. My landlord turned off my heat. Can they do that? I didn't pay my rent, so yeah, they can do that, I guess. And the man! Yes. Thanks for inviting me. You're my blood. I need to hang out with you more so I can stay grounded. Douchebag. Is that David Craze? Sit down. He's a homeless person. He's a famous painter. Ew. Unchain yourself from everything society tells you! What artists do is as important as anything else. Mom, you know how you always say that you want to support me as an artist? 
How can I help? I need someone to take some pictures. Who's the model? It's my mother. So you're saying I should blackmail him? It's your foot in the door. You'll see anything goes in this business. You're really beautiful. Stop. <laughs> Stop stealing. That is Connor Fontaine. And he's really good at buying paintings. He's like real cute. I was actually hoping you'd take me to your studio to show me some of your work. Society is always against the artist because artists have something to say. Because they present uncomfortable truth. What's well, naive to think that you can do this without playing the game? It's a business. You son of a bitch. I can paint circles around that guy. You are just the most innocent person sometimes. Are you really ready to live in this world? I'm an artist. Just because it doesn't pay me money doesn't mean it's not a job. That's exactly what it means.